one, lesson three. This lesson is about comparing numbers. Let's take a look at the essential question before we begin our lesson. How does place value help represent the value of numbers? So why do we need place value? What does it do for us? Okay, let's get started. A number line is a line with numbers on it in order at regular intervals. What does that mean, regular intervals? Well, regular means everything has the same size or the same shape. And intervals is like space. So regular intervals would be every space has the same shape. So if the first space is about this size, second space is about this size. Not the first one like this and the second one all the way like this. Okay, regular intervals. Okay, you can use a number line to compare numbers. Use these symbols to show how numbers relate to each other. I think you've probably seen these before. This one means greater than, this one means less than, and this one means equals. And there's a really easy way to remember these and never get confused. Imagine that the sign is a big old scary crocodile. And of course, like any good crocodile, he needs to eat a lot. And why would he waste his time with anything small? He wants to eat the bigger number. So if you have an eight here, he doesn't want to bother with the two over here. He's going to eat the eight. If you're not into crocodiles, you could also think about it as Mr. Pac-Man, Mrs. Pac-Man. She's going to want to eat the big dots, right? Go the direction that the, all the dots are in. Yum, yum, yum. So it always faces the bigger number. Okay, let's get started with the example. Da, da. There's a picture. Mm, nice. Fireman, policeman. Okay. On average, a first year police officer earns $41,793. A first year firefighter earns $41,294. Which occupation pays more the first year? Okay, so what do they want us to do? Label each dot with the correct salary. So here's what we were talking about up here with the number line in regular intervals. That's, that's here. Okay, so hmm, which one do we think goes here? Well, they both are 41. So now we're going to be looking here at the 2 and the 7. Hmm. Okay, well, this one has a 2 and a 9. And I see here's 41,200, 41,400. So it seems like this number, the firefighter's number, is going to be right about here, right in the middle, because it's almost 41,300. So let's write that in. Forget our comma. Okay, and let's see, our fire, no, our police officer up here is almost to 800, and they put the dot almost to 800. So, whoops, 41,793. Okay, 41,793 is to the left or right of. 41,294. Hmm. I think it's to the right. Okay. 41,793 is, they want greater than or less than 41,294. Well, since this one's almost 800 and this one's almost only 300, this one's bigger. So they want greater. And now's where we get to use our chomping sig symbol. It's greater than, yum, 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 yum. 
I'm going to draw the little eye on just for fun. <clears throat> so, blank earn more the first year. Mm, so which one earns more? Our police officer. Officers earn more than firefighters. Okay, that's our first page. Example two. In a recent year, the population of Vermont was 621,760. The population of North Dakota was 646,844. Compare these two populations. Use greater than, less than, or equals. Whenever you see these words compare from now on, you'll know that they want you to use these symbols. Use a place value chart. Write the numbers on the place value chart. So it doesn't matter which one we write first. I'm just going to write it in order as we saw it here. So this first one was 621,760. And the second one was 646,844. Compare the digits of the greatest place value. If they are the same, move to the next digit to the right until you find digits that are different. Okay, so this is only the ones, so this we don't want to start down here because ones don't have very much value. Okay, so sixes are the same, but here we have a two and a four, so the 10,000 places are different. So these are the numbers we're going to compare. And we see here that four is greater than two, or two is less than four. So we know that 621,760 is less than 646,844. Okay, great. Don't go on to the guided practice. And uh, let's see, what should we draw today? How about a tennis ball? All right. Maybe that looks more like a baseball. Okay. See you in class. Bye.